stay down To the side piece, to a nine piece guys welcome back to my channel once again you're watching Amun on tour beauty so in today's video I have created this look which is perfect for your graduation so if you want to know how I created this look then carry on watching the video so first up I have just got my face as plain Jane and I am going to start by applying some L'Oreal serum to my face and gently massaging this in I've actually got a skincare routine for you guys and I will link it down below in the description box and then I am just applying my eye cream and then after this I'm just going to apply my L'Oreal aloe water all over my face now this is an amazing moisturizer and it really primes my skin in preps for my foundation and really helps for my foundation to stick to my face and give it that flawless look which I am always looking for And then I am just going to use this random brush and apply my foundations all over my face. I am using the Dior Forever and the L'Oreal True Match foundations. And I'm just going to paint this all over my face. I just find that these two foundations put together have the perfect colour and the perfect coverage for my face. And I like to apply a medium to full coverage look just because I feel like it hides away all of my pores and covers all of my freckles. And then for graduation, I just think a full coverage look would be perfect. And then just taking my all-time favourite, the Beauty Blender, I am just going to pat all of that foundation into my face. And you guys know the drill, the damp beauty blender just really helps to give your face that beautiful flawless look which you are looking for. And it really helps to make sure your makeup doesn't look too cakey either. And it just gives that beautiful extra touch and I've always been using the beauty blender for years now. The beauty blender which I am using is by Real Techniques and I've been using this one for many years now and I think it's perfect. And then I'm going to apply some of that foundation over my eyes as well, just to prep it for the eyeshadow which I am going to apply. Then I'm just going to use a spoolie to comb out my eyebrows so I have no flyovers flying around. And then just using my Barry M brow kit, I am just going to apply the powder to my eyebrows. Now I tend to go for the powder just because I feel like the pomade is too thick for my eyebrows and the powder just really works well with them to define the shape and give them the look which I am going for. So I'm just going to apply this over my eyebrows. And then I'm taking the colour Creme Brulee from Makeup Geek and I'm just applying this as my transition shade on the crease of my eye just going slightly over the crease as well so I am taking a big shadow brush just to make sure I have got this perfectly just in the crease and all around as a transition shade and then unfortunately you guys see the lighting change only because I got up to attend to my son because he woke up and then when I came back my lighting kind of went out of place but I am now taking the colour Cocoa Bear and applying this into the creases of my eyes just to really give my eyes that pop of colour. So I'm just applying this in the outer corner and just taking this in the crease and then just taking a blending brush, I'm just going to blend this out. So I actually go back and forth with the colour Cocoa Bear just to really give it that pop of colour onto my eye and then I go back in with my blending brush and I do vice versa about two or three times until I am happy with the colour. And like we said, blending is always key because it just really helps to give your shadow that look which you are looking for. And then I am going back in with the colour Creme Brulee and just applying this over Cocoa Bear just to make sure my transition colour is fully transitioned into my eye and my crease and just above my crease is fully blended in. And then I go back in and blend this all out again. So I'm not applying any extra powders or any shadows onto the brush. I am just allowing my shadows to blend out with a clean brush. And then I'm just taking this white creamish colour and just applying it on my brow bone. And then I'm taking this ready plum colour and just applying this in the inner corner and just taking this towards about halfway on my eyelid and just really slowly patting this in 
Now I'm not applying a lot, just kind of applying a very tad little bit and then I go ahead and blend this out. So my eyes have got that nice plum slash cool tones look going on. And then taking my Inglot gel liner, I am just going to apply this onto my eyelids and give my eyelids that lovely winged look which I am looking for. And then I'm going to apply the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara onto my eyelashes just to uh, prep them for the lashes which I am wearing which are the Allure Lashes by Nadine. And then just taking my Maybelline concealer, I'm just going to apply this into the regular areas which I conceal. And then going back in with my Beauty Blender, I am just going to blend all of this out. And I'm just going to take my time and just pat all of that concealer out and really define my winged look and go underneath my eyes. And then I'm just going to use my Rimmel powder and bake underneath my eyes. And then using my Smashbox contour sticks, I am taking the contour shade and applying this into my contoured areas and then applying some onto my nose as well. And then I'm just going to go ahead and blend out the contour on my cheeks. And I love cream contouring. I just think it just really defines that contoured look. And especially for a graduation where you want your cheeks to look so super defined, it's just perfect. And then I'm also going to put some remains from the brush on to the bottom of my chin as well. So note, I'm not taking any extra product. I'm just basically going to take whatever remains on the brush and apply that on those areas. And then just taking another small brush, I'm just going to blend out my nose contour as well. And then I'm going to take the highlight shade from the same Smashbox contour sticks and just apply this onto the edges of my nose and the ridge of my nose as well. And then I'm just going to blend this out with my Beauty Blender to really give my nose that definition. And then I'm just going to pat away all of that powder from underneath my eyes. And then going in with the Sleek bronzer, which I always use. I am just going to apply this over my contoured areas to really define all of those areas. And then I also go in and apply some onto my forehead as well. And then I am taking the cream color from the Huda Beauty Gold palette and just applying this onto the highs of my cheek just to prep them for the powdered version of the highlight. And then just taking the powder, I'm just going to apply this all over the cream as as you can see, it just gives your cheeks that beautiful highlighted look which you are looking for and on your graduation, you really want your highlighter to be so super popping and really looking beautiful in your pictures. And then I'm also going to take them and just apply a small dot to, right to the top of my nose and then on the bridge, slightly apply a little bit more highlight. And I also went ahead and applied some on my Cupid's bow as well. And then just taking this blush from the BH Cosmetics palette, I'm just going to apply this blush just between the bronzer and just underneath my highlight. I've actually changed the way I do my blush and highlight now. And then I'm just going to apply some of my powder and just bake right underneath my contour, really to give my contour that pop and really define my cheeks even more. But as you guys can see, I am brushing this away as soon as I apply this, just because I don't want to give it the really defined look as my under eyes, but I do want it to pop out a little bit. And then taking the same Cocoa Bear color, I am just applying this just below my waterline and then taking this beautiful pink highlighty color from Kiko, I applied this into my waterline. And then lastly, I am taking the same highlight and just applying this into my tear duct area just to give my eyes that pop. 
And now just taking some of my brow gel, I am just going to set all of my brows in place just so any of my small hairs aren't basically walking around anywhere in my pictures. And lastly, I am taking this liner from Kiko, which I will have linked down below in the description box. And I'm going to apply this onto my lips and then I am going to finish this off with a MAC lipstick in the colour Mare. Now this used to be my absolute favourite lipstick. It's been a long while since I wore this, so I wore this once again. And then I am going to take my Urban Decay All Nighter Spray and just set all of my face in place. And then this is the final finished look. And I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and you guys enjoyed watching how I created this look. Don't forget, if you guys haven't already subscribed to my channel, do hit the subscribe button and give this video a big thumbs up. And I will see all of you in my next video. Bye, guys!